Here in Southland, you expect snow during the winter months. We visited the area early in summer and were met by a freak storm that left seven inches of snow on the ground. A chilly introduction to one of New Zealand's most prosperous farming districts. This property is owned by Mr. Wren Kurse, who told us that fortunately the cold snap had come too late to worry his lambs. Like a great many farmers down here, Wren has spent all his life in Southland. Wren, uh, what sort of farming do you do here in your farm? Well, this is classed as a mixed farm, Selwyn. By that I mean fat lambs and wool are our main items. And also there's quite a lot of cereal crops in the way of wheat and oats grown in the area. What size farm do you have here, Wren? This farm is 412 acres and would be considered about an average size for this locality. Have you always farmed on this property or is it a rehab farm? This is a rehab farm we took over in March 51, Selden. What was the land like then? The, the land was all brown top and rushes, no buildings and no fencing and naturally no grass. Well, you've been farming here for about 13 years. Are you well established? We seem to be quite well established, Selwyn. And how are you going financially? Quite good. You're ahead of it? Yes. In fact, when it comes to income tax, we seem to have had a good year. <laughs> Ren, where is your nearest business centre? Well, our nearest shopping centre of any size, Selwyn, is Gore, a town situated approximately 30 miles southwest from here. Yes, well, that's not very far from here. Let's go and have a look at Gore. Gore was founded a little over 100 years ago. When the railway from Dunedin came into the town in 1875, the settlement grew rapidly. Farmland was opened up and Gore became what it is today, a service centre for farmers. We discussed this with the town clerk, Mr. Gilbert Winwood. Now, as a servicing centre then, the borough must depend a lot on farming money. To what extent does this uh, affect the prosperity of the town? Well, it has a very definite effect on the prosperity of the, ta of the town. Uh, Gore more so, probably, than uh, most other towns because of the, the uh, situation of the town. Um, it's uh, surrounded by such a, uh, an extensive country area. You could say that the young person in the town, the young businessman perhaps, can confidently entertain ideas of setting himself up in business because uh, finance is available locally and he also uh, is pretty well assured of, uh, of business because of the potential of the town. It seems that Gore is a prosperous community, Mr. Winwood. Now, Roughly, what area of farmland does Gore service? Well, you could say that the farming area would extend about 25 miles in each direction from the town. The pattern of farming around Gore is changing. Wool, mutton and grain are the biggest products, but farmers are branching out into raising beef and experimenting with winter housing for their cattle. As farming changes, so does the work of stock and station agents. We asked Mr. Morris Cronin, who's been a stock agent in Southland for 45 years, what changes he's seen in that time? Could you tell us what the land in eastern Southland was like? Well, in the main, I would say it had a fairly unproductive appearance. Um, it certainly lacked the green colours that it has today. Did you have rabbit problems? Oh, definitely. Oh, yes, we had rabbits here, and uh, I would say in patches they were very, very bad. And uh, I was going to say that their, their distraction has played a very important part in their development. Well, now, 45 years later, this is among the most highly productive land in New Zealand. How did this come about? Well, I would think mainly by the application of lime. And in those days, the, it took a lot of persuading to induce a farmer to use lime. And do you have lime here indigenously? Uh, we have now, although in, in the earlier days of liming, it was, it was all drawn from Winton and uh, Hedgehope area, which is not so far away. We've mentioned the high productivity here. Can you give us an example of this? Uh, uh, can you quote figures of a farm, for instance, that is oh, yes, has I, a high I holding? Could, I could do that. Uh, for example, a young farmer who was just in the other day. Uh, he has 430 acres, nice, easy rolling country, and uh, he carries 2,000 breeding ewes plus 250 dry sheep. And Ten years ago, he was carrying 960 breeding ewes and 400 dry sheep. Now, this is the result of the development of the grasslands. Almost certainly. Yes. What were they doing before they had grass development? Well, in the, earlier, in the earlier days, it was the custom for the farmer to grow fairly extensive areas of swedes. And, uh, of course, uh, 
the winters then appeared to be harder than they are these days, but the growing of Swedes was the, was the big thing in farming, whereas today uh, the farmer is switching more to grass farming and largely doing away with the use of Swedes. In this area of eastern Southland, what roughly is the sheep population? I think the sheep population, as far as I can find out, is around about two million sheep. And have you any idea what goes through the stockyards here each year? Yes, there are our own, our own stockyards here. We would sell, uh, I have the figures here somewhere, we would sell um, something like uh, 5,600 store cattle uh, through our own yards in Gore here, uh, plus uh, 4,500 fat, uh, fat cattle and very nearly 80,000 store sheep. The sheep and cattle going through Gore's stockyards have been raised on some of the richest country in New Zealand. The farmland's wealth gives Southland County a rateable value of 76 million pounds, and the county is completely debt-free, probably the only one in New Zealand which is. Gore has a population of 7,000 and does support some industries. A few miles from the town, a freezing works and a paper mill stand on either side of the Matara River. Cereal factories and flour mills at Gore and Invercargill, the provincial centre about an hour's drive from Gore, handle Southland's wheat and oats. This breakfast food factory in Gore has 30 people on the staff, which makes it the biggest single employer in the town. Most purely local firms, such as this concrete factory, are small but prosperous. And there's more than enough money in the district to support a great number of them. In fact, there's so much money about that Gore has more public accountants per head of population than any other town or city in New Zealand. The accountants, stock agents, manufacturers and car dealers in Gore, along with shop owners and tradesmen, are kept in business by the farmers. If there's such a thing as a typical Southland farmer, Mr. Charles Ottry is probably it. We talked to him on his farm at Tapanui, 25 miles from Gore. Mr. Ottry, what is the size of your property here? 308 acres. And what sort of farming are you doing generally? Well, it's mostly stand breeding, Romney sheep. Oh, you breed Romney sheep now. Yeah. Why did you choose Romney as a breed? Well, because it's the most suitable sheep in, in these parts. What's it used for? Is it a... Well, it's a dual-purpose sheep. Uh, it uh, shears a uh, good fleece of wool, and uh, it's also good for uh, the progeny, good for export. Well, this is terribly uh, good for New Zealand's exports in wool and in meat. That's right. Uh, do you do any cattle breeding at all? Yes, well, we breed a few cattle, a few Aberdeen Angus, and we also fatten about 50 or 60 bullocks each uh, what, year. For killing? For, for uh, export and for butchers. Now, do you grow any grain? Yes, we usually grow about 15 to 20 acres a year. And what's your yield from that? Or well, anything from 70 to 100 bushels. And is acre. that regarded as a good yield for New Zealand? Oh, yes, that's very good. It'd be above average. And uh, you also dabble a little in racehorses? Yes, I have a, a mare that I breed a few racehorses from. Uh, is this as a hobby or do you do this as a business? Just a hobby. Is it a good hobby? Oh, well, sometimes I have a pretty good horse just now. Racing is just as popular here in Southland as it is anywhere else in the country. The race meeting in Gore brings most of the people in the district to town. The annual show brings them all, and has done for the past 80 years. Since Gore's first A&P show, Sideshow Alley has changed, fashions have changed, and good horsemanship is now a sport, not a necessary part of living. The only thing that hasn't changed is the idea behind it all. To bring together people, farmer and townsmen alike with a common interest, the land. For the land and the people on it have made Gore what it is, a wealthy town.